As you recall, last year we learned about the subjunctive, which is a different mood than the indicative. The indicative refers to something that's a fact, whereas the subjunctive refers to something that is influenced by emotion, opinion, negation, certainty or uncertainty, doubt, hypothetical situations, and more. Today, we'll talk about the subjunctive and adjective clauses which is when we are talking about something that we are not certain exists. Before we go into that and how to recognize those situations, I want to review the rhyme that helps us conjugate in the subjunctive. We start with forma de yo, quita la o, pon el opuesto final. So if we have the verb preferir and we want to know how to conjugate it in the subjunctive, we first conjugate it in the yo form, yo prefiero, we remove the O, and then we put on the opposite ending. It is an IR verb, so we're going to put an A on the end. So it would change to prefiera, prefieras, etc. If we know that something exists and we're stating a fact, we use the indicative. But if we're talking about something whose existence we are unsure of, we use the subjunctive. So one thing we can ask ourselves is, Am I sure that this exists? I need the person that works the front desk. Am I sure that the person who works the front desk exists? Yes. That's why I used the. It's a definite article. It's definitely in existence. I need a friend that understands me. I'm using here a. A is an indefinite article, which indicates that this friend might not presently exist. So we would then use the subjunctive mood after that. In Spanish, it would look something like this. In both of these sentences, we talk about a computer with internet, but in one of them, we are sure that this computer exists, and in the other, we are not. We have necesito la computadora que tiene internet, and necesito una computadora que tenga internet. Which one do you think definitely exists? The first one. Once again, you see we have la, the definite article, whereas the second sentence employs una, an indefinite article. If we're indefinite, it may or may not exist. So we are going to use the subjunctive after the word que. This awareness of existence also applies when we are denying the existence of something. If you recall, last year we talked about negation in the subjunctive, like yo niego que los chicos hablen demasiado alto. When we deny that something exists, we are not sure that it exists, so we must use the subjunctive. You can see in the first one, I'm certain that there is an ice cream shop that sells mint ice cream around here. But in the second one, since I am denying that that place exists, I will need the subjunctive because there is doubt. No hay ninguna heladería que venda, venda, that's our subjunctive conjugation of vender, helado de menta por aquí. Some verbs that commonly precede adjective clauses that need a subjunctive are buscar, conocer, encontrar, hay, no hay, and querer. However, be careful because these can also be used with adjective clauses that do not need the subjunctive. Remember that the main difference is whether we know that the thing in the adjective clause exists or whether there is doubt, uncertainty, or negation of its existence. If we have doubt, uncertainty, or negation, we must use the subjunctive. Our certainty of whether that thing exists or not is often signaled by the use of a definite or indefinite article. If we see a definite article, use the indicative because we are referring to something specific that does exist. If you see an indefinite article, use the subjunctive because we are talking about something that we may or may not know exists. 